More than five billion people worldwide do not have access to safe or affordable surgical care, and it's responsible for upward toward 16 to 17 million deaths per year worldwide. This kind of problem is of a huge magnitude and one that I've taken a personal interest in, and I've been looking at ways that we could participate in solving the problem of global surgical shortage and the absence of surgical care. We provide surgical services and surgical support and education to communities on five continents around the world. At that time, our team of surgeons, together with nurses, staff people, support personnel, operating room technicians, all came together and landed to build one of the first surgical hospital reconstructions in Port-au-Prince right after the earthquake, and we were up and running within 48 hours providing surgical care. More recently, we've divided our attention toward what kind of durable opportunities could we create in other parts of the world that will influence this shortage of surgical therapies. We've engaged in a project in uh, southern Uganda where we're building a small surgical facility to provide outpatient surgical care of high quality and available to all patients who would require it in that region. This facility will allow us to do several important things. It will allow us to actually develop a facility that is purely and completely self-functioning and self-sustaining. It creates its own power, its own water, its own sewage removal. These are things that are not available in many rural communities around the world and have up to now been considered obstacles to the creation of surgical services in these regions. These are the kinds of things that we'll be able to offer that can actually be life-saving and life-altering to community that doesn't have any access to them at the present time. So many people suffer, so many people die for want of surgical therapy that would be affordable and safe, and they can't get access to it, even for what we would define as relatively simple operative procedures here in the United States. So that alone becomes one of the most important drivers for why we need to do this. We're not just an isolated country or an isolated city providing health care to a small group of people, but we are and should be attached to the large community of human beings that extend across this globe. 